and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia, defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! Let's get right to this, okay? Because I can't handle it anymore. I am... I love He-Man. I'm not even... I, I'm, I'm not even gonna pretend to lie about it. I... I love... And, uh... I, I'm really shocked that my husband even remembered that I love He-Man because I don't own anything of He-Man either. Like, kind of like with my Star Trek video, you're like thinking, oh, you love He-Man, but you don't have another He-Man. No, it's true. I did not own a single thing of He-Man. Um, back when I was a kid, though, I did have Castle Grayskull, and had some few figurines, but you don't, you don't think, like, when you're a kid, you don't, you're, you're not thinking, like, oh, I gotta hold on to this and keep it in its packaging because it's gonna be worth money someday, like, you wanna open it, and you wanna play with it, and that's what happened. Um, so, none of my He-Man stuff from my childhood has been saved, and, uh, but I did have, you know, I had a He-Man lunchbox, dude. Like, the, the, I'm going off on a tangent here. I love He-Man. And I have since I was a child. I mean, it, I used to watch He-Man all the time. I used to watch it with, with my friends. And I remember watching He-Man. And the Masters of the Universe. I... I'm really shocked that my, my husband even remembered that I love He-Man because um, he wanted to get me something special for our five-year wedding anniversary, which was the 1st of November. And this most definitely would fall under the category of something special. And he actually found a guy that was selling this and some Star Trek The Next Generation comics. And so he went to see the guy, see what he had, and he ended up picking up this, Star Trek comics, and Indiana Jones comics, and get into these comics. Um, so, when he got home, he gave me the comic, well, he didn't give me the comics first, because he thought those were going to be the piece to piece. Um, but he did give me this. This was the first thing he gave me. And I was blown away when I pulled it out of the box, out of the bag, because, I mean, wow. This is actually um, Snake Armor, or, yeah, Snake Armor Skeletor and Wolf Armor He-Man. And, uh, and, like, battle it out with each other, but like, oh, Skeletor, I don't like you, yeah, screw He-Man, I don't like you either. Um, it has a VHS movie in it, so that tells you, 2002, <laughs> cutting edge, it has a VHS movie in it, which is falling off the back of the box, like the, I, I think it should have been, um, in position back there, better, but, anyway, it's called He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, The Courage of Adam, and if you've ever watched He-Man, then you know that Adam is He-Man. No, really, um, Adam is He-Man. And, um, well, Prince Adam. And, um, it has the, the shields, Skeletor shields, and um, the helmet. And Skeletor looks really badass in this. I mean, he's all blue like he usually is, but his face, his face is like, you know, green and stuff, and that, that, the, the armor on the front of him is like a snake with green eyes, it's just, it's a freaking killer, I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not, cause, oh, there we go, you can see it, isn't that killer, like, tell me that doesn't look badass, 
Now, we are not going to open this. No. No, we aren't. I, I, I struggle with it. I really do. Like, I think it's on my stand next to my computer. And every time I look at it, I think, oh, I want to play with them. You know, and it's like, screw this, come on, screw you, man. I don't want to touch it. I really want to play. But the problem is, is I'm afraid that even though, you know, my husband was like, oh, it's not worth that much. Go ahead and open it and play with it if you want. Even though it's may might not be worth that much, I think the most I've seen this go for is like 70 bucks online. And I have seen them for as low as like 20. Um, my husband, I think, paid like 8 or $9 for it. So again, you know, another epic freaking find. Um, and you can't walk away from that. I, I would have... I, I would have never spoke to him again if he'd have told me, oh, yeah, he's going to match to the universe, you know, gift set with a movie and all in the box. And I'd have been like, yeah. You go and don't come back until you get it. Not allowed through that door. But there will be a solid. Um, you know, and it would have been like that. But so I struggled with the want <laughs> to open it. And, uh, I just keep thinking, you know, if I open it, and I'm playing, um, that it's gonna, it, like, there's gonna be, like, oh, this is a rare thing, and it, you know, it, in, like, five or ten years, it'll be worth something, and I just, I need to find another one. I need to, you know, find another one and play with it, or go to, like, a uh, thrift store or the flea market and find, um, open figures that, you know, that are already open and been beat up and banged up and what have you, and just bring those home and play with those, because, um, the, the dude also has, um, the Battle Cat and Panthor, um, but they're not in boxes, they're just, like, loose toys, so that would be, like, really cool, because I really would like them, and, uh, I could get, you know, loose He-Man figure, you know, a loose Skeletor figure somewhere and set them on the, on the cats and be like, I could, like, entertain myself for hours. Um, yeah, so, again, if you're looking for anything for, for me for Christmas, because I know you are a key man. Anyway, this is a really nice set, uh, for any, any collector. It's made by Mattel, um. It's a very nice set, and, uh, like I said, it has a CHS movie, but I don't know what it is, because, well, I know, and I find it funny that it's a VHS movie, not a DVD, so, yeah, some goodies right there, but it's a nice set, it, it was definitely a surprise, it was a great gift, and I love it, I really do, um, this looks so nice. I cannot wait until I can I can get a uh, you know a couple of bookshelves where I can just display all this cool geeky stuff that I have like nerdtastic stuff. Um, that would make my day. That would that would just really make my day. So yeah, um, check this out. You can buy it. Um, I I don't know if Amazon has it, but I do know they have a few on eBay. Yes, Amazon does have it. If I'm not mistaken. Um, it's like 50 bucks maybe, 30 bucks, 40 bucks, something like that. But check it out. It's really a cool set. Um, there's also a claw in it. Yeah, uh, He-Man has a claw. The hand claw, which is kind of cool. They do move. Um, Skeletor's uh, snake, uh, snake armor helmet does not come off. It won't, you can't remove it. I don't know about He-Man's. Um, but it does look like the wolf on He-Man's shield... I, if if you look at it, it's that Skeletor. See, I don't think you can really see that that well, but you see that wolf right there on He-Man's shield. Okay, and then you see these little gold pieces right here. These little gold teeth. Um, if you see, they're like in a slot. I don't know if you can see that or not, but if you spin the wolf's head and let it go, those little gold teeth just spin in the shield so yeah that's kind of cool um there are other other um, play sets 
Let's see what Skeletors can do. Skeletors shield, if you... Pull down the skeleton, these spikes shoot out of it. So that's kind of cool. That's just very cool. Skeletor looks badass in this, like I said. Skeletor looks like jacked and badass in this. Um, I like to give love to the villains too, because without the villains, we don't have a superhero, or we don't have, you know, our our main you know, character here. Um, the villains really are, are a hero in their own right, because if he, ha if He-Man has nobody to battle, then, okay. Um, so I do have to give some love to Skeletor, and I gotta tell you, Skeletor's armor is just looking awesome. Skeletor is looking badass with himself. There's pretty good detail in this. Um, they are posable, but Skeletor's arms don't move, nor do He-Man's. Like, they, they don't bend at the elbow or anything. He-Man's looking all jacked like he's just taking steroids. One thing I don't like about He-Man, though, is his face kind of looks like an L. I mean, it's a very long, like, he's a very long chin. His chin just kind of goes, Aww. And his face kind of looks like an L. Like, he has like, these pointed Vulcan-looking ears. Um, and I don't really care for that. That's not what I picture He-Man looking like. I mean, Skeletor, you know, he's pretty easy to do. You know, he's just like a skeleton. But He-Man didn't look like that. And He-Man's he got like this, like this neck thing going on, you know? He-Man's pretty buff, but I mean, this is just kind of like Batista buff. Um, I don't know if you can see this. See his face? I, I, I just... I, I don't remember He-Man having a long face like that, but, you know, I could be wrong. And he's pretty buff. I mean, he looks pretty buff. You can see his claw in there, too. See his little scar right over here. Um, and you can see his neck. His neck is all like, ah. But it, for what it is, is pretty cool. Um, yeah, it really is. I do wish that Skeletor's shield had a little more color to it. Um, it's gray and purple, which, you know, it's, it's great, but Skeletor also has green on him. If you notice, Skeletor has, I, I really wish that glare was gone, but on Skeletor's hand, on, on his sword there, where he's holding it in his hand, it's green. On the eyes of that snake armor on, the, on, the, on his chest, they're green. On the, in the eyes of the actual snake helmet, they're green. Skeletor's face is kind of a green, orange, yellow, whatever color. But, if you look at the... Get away from me, Glare. If you look at the shield, it's purple and gray. You know, it, they're... It doesn't really look like it goes with him, you know? Um, He-Man's is gold and bronze or copper. He-Man's, like, really matches well. You know, but his really sort of doesn't. I mean, I would have thought, other than this little snake on the top of his helmet that's kind of sticking out there, I don't think you can see this, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. See that silver snake sticking out of the back of his helmet there? That's really the only thing that it matches. Other than that, it really doesn't look like it goes with him, but I can't complain. I wish there had been some green in it somewhere, you know? Like the eyes of the skull, maybe. It should have been green. That is pretty hard. Anyway, so since I'm not going to open it, I guess we'll end it here. Oh. But maybe someday I will find the open toys of these and I'll be able to do a review on them and uh, follow up this one. So, hope you enjoyed and have a great day.